Okay, so this is clip number um, 489, um, some um, multi-step angle problems. The important thing when you're doing angle problems is to write on all of the bits of information that you know as you go along. So, in this question, it says that A is 40. So, I know that this angle here is 40 and it tells me that B is 64. So, I know that this angle here is 64. Now, because I've got these two lines there and there, I know that this triangle, this bit, is isosceles. And if it's isosceles, the two base angles are the same. So this angle and this angle is the same. So I do 140, sorry, I do 180, take away 40, gives me 140. So those two angles divide by two is 70. So these two angles are 70 and 70. Okay, if we look at this other one, I know that this angle this time is 64. And again, because this is an isosceles triangle and the base angles are equal, I know that this is 64. Right? I'm trying to find X. So what I'm really looking for is this angle here. Now, if I look at these two lines, I know because that's 70, this is 70, because vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, and if this is 64, this also here is 64. Again, because vertically opposite angles are equal. Right, so the final step now is to find out what X is. So X is going to be equal to 180, take away 70, take away 64. So X is going to be, take away 70, take away 64. X is going to be 46 degrees. Now, when they ask you to write down each stage of your working in the comment box, what they're looking for is the things that I've just said. So they're looking for you to say that because it's an isosceles triangle, these two angles, these two base angles are equal. And again, for this one, they're also looking for you to say that 70 here, okay, that this is 70 because they're vertically opposite angles. Okay, and then the final step will be because angles in a triangle add up to 180, we know that X is going to be 46. Okay, other type of question on uh, in this clip is this one, and it's exactly the same, really, you're looking at isosceles triangles. So again, write down what you know. So I know that this A is 18, okay? And again, because base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal, and this is an isosceles triangle, two lines, I know this is 18. Okay, because of that, I can figure out this angle. So, because I know that they're 18, I know that this angle has got to be 144. Okay, because 180 take away 18, take away 18 is 144. Okay, angles on a straight line means that this, okay, this one here is going to be 180, take away 144, which is 36. All right, again, I know that this must be 36 because base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So that means I know what this angle is, okay? I know that this angle up here is going to be 180, take away 72. So take away 180 is 108. So that angle there is 108. Again, you can see here, I've got another straight line. So you can see I'm just working down, working out each missing angle, working along the diagram. So we've got 108 plus 18 is 126. And that's got to be 
54. Remember, angles on a straight line are also 180, so that's 54. Again, base angles means that this is 54 in an isosceles triangle. All right, and now we can work out this one. So we've got 54 and 54 is 108. So that means that this must be 72. Okay, exactly the same again now. We've got another straight line we can work out. So we've got 72 plus 36 is 108. All right, then we take away that from 180 and we get 72. We'll just check that one again. So 72 at 36 is 108. Take away 180 is 72. So here is also 72. Right, this is my base angle now. So I know that's 72. Okay, and of course, I don't need that one now to work out x because this is a straight line. So because this is a straight line, I know that x has got to be 180, take away that 72, which is going to be 108 degrees.